Alright y'all man, this is your Star Action News Support Your Hood Reaction Guru, LC1 LC1 to be exact reaction did back With another reaction man, reacting to The ESPN analyst, uh, Tim Legler uh, Sam Perkins I mean not Sam Perkins, Kendra Perkins uh, Molly uh, Churn, right? And a few others man, talking about Scottie Pippen Comments about Michael Jordan being a horrible player But before we get into that man let me get my disclaimer out, man. Uh, I am really starting to to develop a real, a real, real passion and hate for the city of Chicago, man. And I really, I, I really am understanding why a lot of the players that have came here, or any player from any sport, baseball, football, hockey, basketball. Even I guess professionals, you know, in other other genres of business, kind of sway away from Chicago, man, because you know Chicago got a lot of issues, man. And like right now, we on this damn train, man. It's 75 degrees outside, and I got this ice cream, and they it is hot than a motherfucker on the train. They haven't turned the air on not one time since we've been on the train. Now, if it was a little cooler, they would turn the train on. I bet you if I'd had this ice cream, it'd be cool. It'd turn the air on. All right. Then number two, they still got people walking up and down on the trains, man, trying to sell shit that's illegal. That's legal already. Then number three, every train cart that has a cab on it always has somebody on here trying to smoke some shit. Like they outside. These niggas be on the train trying to smoke. Like they in their own personal car. So it's not just that. It's other stuff that that's really starting to build up. Me having a real, real, real passion and hate for this damn city, man. Because we don't have no real officials here that really care about people that pay their taxes and work hard every fucking day. Like they stole my car about a month ago, right over here in my neighborhood. I never ever thought that would have ever happened to me. Now, I lived on this side of the park over here by the old block. My granddaddy had a building over here, owned a, a family building for about 30 years. We lived in the building. I never had that problem. Moved on this side of the park down further over here on uh, like 60th and King Drive. You know, I didn't hear people bust out my windows. I had that. That happened before. Then I moved on this side of the park over here. 20 years over here. And I had my windows busted out and stuff. But I never had my car stolen before, man. And who could we turn to when stuff like that happens? Nobody. There's no aldermen's offices around here. They want us to keep voting for these damn people. Ain't nobody coming out to reach out to people that... That that's working man in the community I'm not trying to knock nobody else for what they do but I'm just saying man you know we have to fit the bill for the riffraff okay yeah. this is an ongoing problem in the city of Chicago man it's like even with Brent, uh, the new mayor Brandon Johnson we the same age now I didn't even vote this time because I'm so fucking pissed off about how things have turned out this year for me. They stole my car. Okay, this slumlord over here don't want to fix nothing. Been in the beginning for 20 years. They talking about trying to evict somebody. I'm like, evict somebody? And you got all these drug dealers in the building? And you, I went through COVID? Evict who? They look stupid. Standing up in court. I'll go get Peter Francis Geraci just to make a point and put them on YouTube so I get some views off this shit. You know, but anyway, I just had to get my disclaimer out, disclaimer out about how I'm feeling, man, because Chicago is really pissing me the fuck off. I'm trying to get out of here. Right when I was trying to move out of here, they steal my car, and I was going to look at another place, uh, trying to get a house, and they steal my car. I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like, and it's like we being terrorized people that's doing that's doing something it don't mean about our own damn community now 
let's get on this subject, man. Scotty Pippen, man. Like I said before, man, I understand Pippen because I played basketball. No, I played organized basketball. No, I was an all star high school, so I understand where he's coming from. It's like people taking it out of context where he's coming from. He was saying that Mike was a horrible player before he got there. He didn't play a team game. He was playing basically by himself. He didn't have a team structure. So I understand everything he's saying because it makes sense. You know, they started to put pieces around him so he could play that type of style of basketball because and put the necessary coaches in place too so they can train them, you know, to play like that. Right? That's the same thing we had. We had good coaches and stuff, you know, Chuck Frazier, Coach Patterson, you know, we had the the right group, you know, that they could coach. And it all comes down to that too. You got to be coachable in order for a coach to even, you know, try to put interest into, into you like that. And our coach is saying that we had something, man. The group that we had as freshmen all the way up until, you know, our senior year. You know, we was together. You know, we played, played good. We had a good team chemistry. So they invested in us. You know, and we produced and we won. Got Coach Frazier, his 300 win, you know, his 300 career win in high school at ISHA. That's the history forever. We did that. My group did that. My class did that, you know. So I understand what people are talking about. I'm, I'm, I really understand where he's coming from. And him saying those comments, he wasn't saying it to be harsh. He was just telling the damn truth because... Somebody asked him, I think he was on Stacey Kane's podcast, somebody podcast, and they asked him that question. So he just told him straight up, like, yeah, shit, Mike was one on, he was one on one, shit. You know, that's, that was his mindset, because he didn't have nobody. He didn't have no, no real, t- well, who, he, who did he have there? Orlando Woolridge? Okay. Bob, I mean, who else did he have there? He didn't have nobody there, so, you know, he had to do what he had to do. You know, to make the Bulls relevant because he was a number one draft pick. So, that right there, you know, changed his style of play. Because as you know, when he went, when he was in, he was in college at UNC, you know, under Dean Smith, come on now. Come on. You know Michael Jordan was, he was it. As a freshman in college, Michael Jordan was, the, he was the shit. Okay? Won the national title as a freshman. Come on, man. Played with some real good people. They put the people where he walked into a situation where they had good people and they was able to coach them, like I said. Sam Perkins. uh, James Worthy. All right? So that's what I'm saying. You know, that's that's what Pippen really was trying to, you know, that was his statement, really. That's all he was saying. He was saying... You know, Michael Jordan was not in the team structure. He was a horrible player. He was missing a lot of shots, taking a lot of bad shots. All right? And they had they had a bad... I ain't going to say... Um, who was the coach at that time? It wasn't... Um, it wasn't Phil Jackson. It wasn't... Um, what was the coach? What was his damn name, man? Uh, it wasn't it wasn't uh, Coach Collins. Okay, it was another coach that he had. After he got Coach Collins, and they started making the playoffs. They made the playoffs, right? And Michael Jordan went up against the uh, the Boston Celtics first round. Did what he did. That was under Coach Collins. All right, the previous coach he had broke his leg and all that stuff. Like his fresh well his first year he. Averaged like 28 points in the second year. Well, after he came back from the injury, he averaged about 37 points a game, right? Yeah. And that was under Coach Collins because he, you know, he was the new coach. So, I understand what people were saying. So, they got to understand, the, you know, where where is this all coming from? He was on a podcast. I mean, because I do some more research. Like I said, I think he was on Stacey King's podcast. 
And they asked him a question. You know, it got into that part. They taking this all out of context and stuff like, damn, you know, Pippen coming in Mike. Like, you know, like, shit. They teammates and shit. So, that's what I'm saying. Like, Robert Scotty Pippen go live and start bashing, you know, somebody he played with and they were successful together. Despite all the stuff that's going on off the court, personal shit, like, you know, his son dating his wife and all that type of shit and, you know, if that's even if that is true, you know, why would Pippen go off the rocker and start blasting that mic like that, talking about he horrible? Because, you know, Mike would have uh, responded. Come on. Mike Jordan would have responded to Pippen saying some shit like that. But he probably knew what it was because, you know, he was on the show. You know, just like he was on the other, other guy's show. Uh, when he was making those comments and started talking, you know, they was asking him questions and he was telling his truth how he feel about shit. So, you know, hey, you can't hate Pippen for that. You know, those are his opinions on how he was feeling about how stuff was done. You know, he felt like he didn't he didn't get represented right. So, I feel that, especially with that last dance thing because... You know, he was saying that was Mike Jordan thing. You know, that was his company. I, I'm understanding that was his company that filmed it, produced it. But they saying ESPN, the one that chopped it up. Shit, they own the motherfucking shit. So, yeah. So, it is what it is on that. But anyway, man. You know, I'm thinking this this ain't nothing, man. It's like they blowing smoke on this. You know, just to have a headline. You know, because, you know, Mike and them, they... Even with Pippen in business, they already slandering him, saying he not successful, and you know he had a better bunch of bad business deals and all this and that type of stuff. Whatever, you know, you don't know what that man got and what he doing. You know what I'm saying? Like Pippen so quiet now, he ain't even in the public. Like shit, same thing Mike had. He ain't in the public, so he did what he had to do, got on, and he got on. You know. Somebody brought him back out, asked him some questions, and somebody made it public so it can go viral. So, yeah, it is what it is, man. But anyway, I mean, Dennis Rodman said some shit, too, you know, about Michael Jordan and Pippen and all this and that. They never blew out of context like how they're doing this. But anyway, that's how it is. You know, that's the new media stuff that's going on. And I understand that, man. They're trying to get a story trying to get some, some money off of anything, okay? Because you see the new NBA. It's fucking terrible. But anyway, man, I'm going to get up out of here, man. This is Star New Report of Your Hood Reaction Guru. Watching, walking through the hood, okay? Um, trying to pay attention. Make sure I like, share, comment, subscribe, because they be shooting, okay? I was trying to get up out of here, man. Y'all help me, man, because I don't know what the hell is going on. Why they trying to keep me here? You know, damn well, I got ambitions in I don't, I mean, I'm not even supposed to be around here right now, okay? I did my community service, did my time. Now it's, it's time for others to help me get to where the hell I need to be. And that's just the bottom line. That's it, you know? Life is about elevation and advancing, not being stagnant and procrastinating. I don't do that shit. You know, I didn't put the time in, put the work in. Y'all see what I'm doing. Get me the hell up out of here. Okay? That's all I'm saying. It's up to y'all, man. Get me the hell up out of here. And I'm out.